Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today, which is 13th of June, Jupiter will transit into the sign, no, Nakshatra of Rohini. And Jupiter will be there here till 19th of August, so quite some time. And here are 10 points which you can use to improve yourself and your overall life. So this is material, spiritual, mental and overall. And after discussing these 10 points, we'll also discuss what every ascendant should focus on, right? So first thing, which is you should focus on enhancing your prosperity, which means Jupiter transiting in Rohini Nakshatra can bring, you know, different uh, opportunities for wealth, gain, uh, and also other kind of materialistic gains. And this period is going to be favorable for growth in your finances and more important than growth is stability. So if you have your assets, uh, which means, you know, you have your money stored in stock, crypto, real estate and all this, and you are not very aware. So maybe it's a good time to take advice of a financial advisor, financial planner, so that you can make the best use of this. Number two is you should focus on family and relationships. Now, this is a bit counterintuitive because, or other contradictory because most of the times when people focus on wealth, they end up neglecting their family and relationships. But you should not do that because as we know, Jupiter is the Karaka for the second house and Taurus is the original second sign and Rohini has to do with children and you know, family. So therefore, you should focus, um, there should be a strong emphasis on your family values and relationships. And it is a great time to strengthen your existing bond. So if you have good family members and due to some reason, your family relationships have become a bit uh, dry, then this is a good time to uh, travel together to have uh, nice uh, conversations with, with each other. Uh, remember some childhood memories and thereby strengthen your love relationship with your loved ones number three this is a great time for creativity and innovation now as we know rohini nakshatra is related to creativity you know and innovation because we know brahmaji is the one who is the deity is uh, the one who exemplifies this nakshatra and rohini is also the birth nakshatra of uh, shri krishna himself so this nakshatra, as you know, Brahmaji is the creator of the universe. So therefore, this is the best time for you to pursue your creative insights. And uh, also because the child aspect is there, so fertility is also there. So if you are a couple and you are planning uh, to uh, have children, then this is the best time. So this period can uh, sparkle, you know, new ideas. You know, it can make you very artistic. You know, it can make you very creative and it can make you very innovative. So whenever you get a chance, indulge in it. Okay. The creative side. <laughs> number four, this can bring growth in your career and business opportunity. So point number one was enhanced prosperity. So take a look at your assets and get advice. But now, if you are not having a job, then this is a great time to find a job because Taurus, as you know, is the original second house in the Kalpush Kundli. So, if you don't have a job, then best time to find a job. There could be professional growth and business expansion could be there. You know, and you could uh, seek different uh, type of uh, advancements. You know, So, this will work for everybody depending on your Mahadasha and Antardasha. Don't forget that. Then... Uh, number five is spiritual and intellectual growth. So you need to understand this period uh, can go either ways. This period can be favorable for spiritual practices or it can be unfavorable depending on uh, your horoscope. So if the fifth house or the ninth house is involved in your Mahadasha or Antardasha, then this can be favorable. Otherwise, uh, if your uh, sixth, eighth or twelfth is involved, then this period can be unfavorable. But nonetheless, you, you can do more spiritual practices uh, and uh, intellectually you can grow because Jupiter is the Karaka for wisdom and Rohini is creativity. So therefore, uh, this is a good time for learning, you know, for teaching and for exploring new opportunities. Then also, Rohini Nakshatra is related with agriculture, which is, you know, food and dining and health and all this nourishment basically. So therefore, this is a great time for you to focus on your health and your well-being. So if you feel that uh, you need health improvements and then uh, if you are lacking that, then please focus on your health. Now health is well, okay? 
and this is a great time to start new like you know gym uh, schedule or anything you know yoga or you know to clear off some lingering health issues okay very 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 interesting now number seven uh, this is an excellent time for establishing harmony and peace because jupiter has this benevolent energy and uh, this encourages harmony and peace and therefore, uh, this is a time where you could focus on, you know, resolving your conflicts. You know, I'm not talking of some third World War Three or, you know, um, Ukraine-Russia conflict. But I'm talking of conflicts in your life internally and externally. So if you feel that there is some problem that you have with somebody, then talk it out, you know, try to have a negotiation with them. And internally, if you are fighting with your demons, with the anarthas, kama, krodha, loba, moha, madha, matsare, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion, then this is the best time to ditch them and be free from them. Of course, nobody can be free from them completely, but we can try to uh, keep them within a limit which is manageable. Okay. Number eight is travel and exploration. Well, Jupiter and Venus, they are they are the planets of you know travel, enjoyment, fun, and exploration so this is the best time you want to take a trip to a foreign land or you know you want to go to a retreat or a resort you know jungle great time go and do that <clears throat> and this could be for business or any kind of relaxation or it could be for spiritual purposes <clears throat> and depending on your chart if the third house and the ninth house is there you may take a short distance travel or within a different state and uh, 12th is involved you may take a inter-country travel also and number nine, very, very important, fertility and new beginnings. This is something which I all, already mentioned. So uh, for uh, couples, married couples, best time to have children. Or it's not just the human child. It could be, you know, you start your own business, you know, entrepreneurship. That is also like your new child, okay? So therefore, start a new family, getting married or having kids, buying a car, buying a new home, anything new in your life, that is great. And number 10 is generosity and philanthropy, <clears throat> which means uh, you might be uh, having a desire, growing desire to, you know, donate your money, donate your time and engage in charity, you know, do some philanthropy. Okay, so therefore, this is a great time for giving yourself. Okay, so if you feel that you have got a lot of things in life and this is the time you need to give back, well, then you are... You are blessed because this is the best time to do that. All right. Thank you. Now we go to every ascendant. So we first go to Aries ascendants. So for Aries, this transit is in your second house, which is the house of wealth, you know, which is the house of family. And Jupiter rules your ninth house, which is the house of luck. Then he's ruling your ninth house again, which is higher learning, you know, divine spiritual learning. Uh, and, and also he lords your twelfth house, which is the house of losses expense expenditure hospitalization but also the house of uh, moksha you know spiritual perfection right and from the second house he's aspecting your sixth house which is the house of health which is the house of service and uh, he's also aspecting your eighth house which is transformation and also your tenth house so he's aspecting your artha houses right and also one moksha house and he is himself in the artha house which is the second house so for you, the following areas could be your strong points, you know, like, for example, you could have financial gains, uh, you could have family support, you could have career advancements and all this. So try and um, try and put all your efforts into your family and your career. OK, very, very, very important. And in terms of weakness, uh, you could have a weakness of overeating, you know, eating too much or eating things which are not good for you You know, try to avoid taking alcohol or you know indulging in eating meat uh, and smoking so you need to control uh, because these two planets can make things too extreme for you sometimes you know so uh, there could be health issues you know and you could spend too much money okay because 12th floor is coming to your second house uh, in Rohini so you could spend too much money out of uh, your lavish pursuit so this could be your weakness all right so take care uh, focus on your strong points and try to control your weaknesses now taurus ascendance this transit is in your first house which is yourself your personality and uh, your belief systems you know your image your reputation in life then jupiter rules your eighth house which is the house of transformation you know sudden events 
and most importantly rule 0 11th house which is the house of sudden gains so <clears throat> now from there he's aspecting your fifth house which is the house of creativity you know and children and uh, also your passion in life and then he's aspecting your seventh house which is the house of partnerships business marriage relationships and uh, anybody who is opposing you okay opposing not in the uh, not in a derogatory sense but your counterpart basically and also he's your ninth lord so the ninth lord shows luck okay so for you the most important strength that you can master now is you know personal growth you know like um, change of your belief systems <laughs> and you might become popular for some reason or the other so you know you might want name fame power position authority and all this because 11th lord is coming into lagna right in rohini fantastic this is and you could undergo uh, a lot of creative work you know so for taurus ascendants if anybody uh, if anyone that you know is a taurus ascendant is into some creative work creative business uh, then this is the best time for you okay so therefore please uh, use this time positively and i'm sure you will do a lot of good things in the area of creativity and now with weaknesses uh, you could have challenges with you know your in-laws or some kind of partnerships and uh, you might overindulge you know in food and alcohol and all these things uh, so in case you are able to control yourself and also your uh, partnerships with people then uh, i don't see there's much problem for you but eighth lord coming into lagna so there could be some transformation or you know in worst case rohini has something to do with scandals you know so there could be some scandal which could come but that will come in worst case if your dashas are agreeing for that otherwise it will not come okay all the best taurus now for gemini in gemini ascendance this transit is in your 12th house which is spirituality isolation moksha loneliness <laughs> and hospital you know it's your private life you know 12th house is <clears throat> your sleep it shows uh, bed pleasures and uh, it jupiter for you he rules uh, the 7th house which is partnerships marriage uh, your sexual organs and then uh, he also rules your 10th house right so uh, jupiter is a very important planet because he rules two kendra houses for you and 10th house as you know is the house of career okay so now from there he's aspecting your fourth house which uh, could impact a bit your home or comfort and he's aspecting your sixth house which is you know again health service and all this you know and eighth house of course transformation okay so for you the strengths are you know spiritual growth and uh, working behind the scenes so because this transit is in your 12th house so you need to be aware of your spirituality your spiritual growth and you have to understand that you may not get results during this transit your results in the sense you know positive results which manifest externally and you may feel that you know life is a bit unfair but don't worry it's not that you are not getting results but it simply means that you have to do the background work that is necessary so do meditation do sadhana do intense uh, japa and all this you know and then you will feel uh, more calm <clears throat> now now uh, weaknesses could be you know you could have professional challenges uh, there could be some issues in your profession you know there could be some problems you know and <clears throat> you might feel uh, too much stressed out at times and because of that you may feel no i just need some solitude i, I just want to be by myself and there could also be some uh, concerns related to your health or your home or your mother okay so please be watchful of whatever you are eating and do not waste too much money and uh, focus on your health withdraw if required okay and uh, make sure that you focus well in your career so if you have got a new job and in you are you are in your probation period then uh, please make sure you work there seriously or else you know there could be a situation where they might lay you off i mean this is a worst case scenario but it could happen it has happened for some people for some other ascendant for some other transit which i have seen so therefore uh, focus on your work and your health and maybe your mother and your uh, your home or your you know your car and your house basically fourth house okay all the best gemini now we go to cancer so for cancer what's going on this transit is in your 11th house gains network circles and jupiter rules your 6th house which is the house of health service 
and your ninth house which is you know luck higher learning spirituality blessings of your gurus and from there he aspects your third house which is like you know communication then third house shows you know siblings third house can show your neighbors also at times then he rules your fifth house which is creativity children and you know your passion your love and seventh house is partnerships and <clears throat> anybody who is opposite to you basically right and spouse marriage everything is the seventh house so for you the strong areas the best thing that you can do now hands down the best thing is to improve your social skills go in different you know uh, seminars you know in different groups and you know try try to gain more from people so for cancer it's very important whenever you meet somebody now at least now don't talk too much you know always hear from them always learn from them gain from them okay that is why it's the house of gains so gain knowledge from them and you know uh, try to learn what what try to learn from other people's experiences okay financial gains just brilliant a uh, great time for financial gains uh, it's phenomenal 11th house overall success so want a new job go for it you know creative endeavors perfect uh, this, this, uh, in terms of weaknesses, there could be, you know, over, exer over exertion. So you might exert yourself too much because, you know, the sixth lord is in the eleventh. So you might feel, you know, you need to crush everything and everybody. So be aware of that. Or uh, don't bully others, you know, or uh, don't try to uh, trample others and try to balance your service and your personal projects. Okay. So if you have some work, you need to get some work done from other people then understand that they are also human beings so uh, don't be too forceful otherwise uh, people may not like you okay and also don't be too forceful on yourself because then you may end up not liking yourself <laughs> all right now for your ascendance this transit is in your 10th house career name fame power position status authority and Guru is a fantastic planet for you because he's your Panchamesh. He lords your fifth house of creativity, children. He's also your eighth lord of transformation. And he aspects your second house, which is the house of wealth, family, you know, fourth house, comfort, your home, your mother, your property, your real estate, your uh, car, your peace, basically. And he also rules your sixth house. He's aspecting your sixth house. Okay, so he... He's aspecting your second, fourth, and sixth. So sixth is the house of health, service, you know, and enemies also at times. So therefore, for you, uh, there's nothing much to discuss because this transit is in your 10th house. So focus on growing your career. So as you know, 10th house, um, Jupiter is a great placement and Rohini Nakshatra has to do with something new. So you could start your new job, you know, or... If you are into IT, you want to, you know, see different job opportunities, you can explore UX, UI design, you know, front end, AI and all this. So Rohini can bring all this. Okay. <clears throat> so brilliant position, brilliant placement for Leo. Congratulations. Thumbs up. And on the side of weaknesses, there could be some sudden issues, you know, in your family and there could be some health concerns. So be watchful of uh, your health. You know, if there is some attention required in, uh, for your health, then give it. And also be aware that there could be some issues with your family or in-laws, okay, especially because the 8th Lord is coming to the 10th, okay. But nonetheless, uh, don't worry, don't panic if there is some issue, resolve it, all right. Now for Virgo, Virgo Lagna, this transit is in your ninth house, which is the house of, you know, luck, higher learning, guru, your mentors, your spiritual guides, God himself, and Guru rules your 4th house and 7th house. The 4th house is the house of home, comfort, and 7th house is partnerships, your marriage. And he aspects your lagna from there, and which is the house of, you know, self, personality, your looks, appearance, image. Uh, and he aspects your 3rd house, which is communication, siblings, and of, of course, uh, the most important house in the chart, which is the 5th house, right? Which is the house of creativity, it's the house of children. And is the house of mantra. So for you, <clears throat> the best area for you to focus on now is learning and spiritual growth. So this is a time where you have to be like uh, Maharshi Agastya who drank the oceans. Okay, so what do I mean by drinking the oceans? It means uh, drinking the knowledge that is there in the entire universe. Okay, so 
wherever you go, whenever you go, try to learn something. Okay, very, very, very important. Try to connect with your guru and try to learn from your guru. Try to read the Vedic scriptures or any religious tradition that you are inspired by. And then this is a time for learning, traveling and also for personal growth. Fantastic period. And in terms of weaknesses, uh, there could be some potential, you know, over commitment, you know, because you uh, overestimate yourself sometimes, you know, because ninth house makes things very easy. So you might, uh, you might do things or you might say things which you don't mean actually. Okay. So uh, measure what you say and only then you uh, give commitment to your partnerships. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it could wreak havoc in your partnerships. Okay. All the best, Virgo. Now, we go to Libra Lagna. So for Libra Lagna, there is this transit is in your eighth house. Okay. So eighth house is the house of transformation. It's the house of sudden events, you know. Uh, it's the house of stock market. It's the house of uh, un, not stock market, but un, uh, like, you know, uh, unearned money, which comes from, you know, stock or crypto or, you know, bonds, something like that. And then uh, Jupiter rules your third house, which is, you know, communication, siblings, neighbors, and he rules your sixth house, which is health and your service. So from there, he's aspecting your 12th house, which is house of spirituality, which is also the house of isolation, like, you know, hospitals, expenses, then second house, you know, wealth, family, <clears throat> and fourth house is your comfort and your property and vehicle and your mother. So for you, you know, this transit could be a challenging one because uh, the uh, sixth lord is transiting the eighth and aspecting the 12th. So for Libra, this could be an incredibly challenging transit, but you still have some strong areas. So one strong area is your personal growth, you know, so if you have some bad habits, then try to control your bad habits. And if you feel you are overly materialistic, then try to get some spiritual insights, you know, about karma, God, and how the world <laughs> is actually a place of misery. And you know, try to read the Bhagavad Gita, that will help you. Try to uh, read the Vishnu Sastranam, you know, that will also help you. So these are your strengths, this you, which you need to master. And in terms of weaknesses, you know, there could be family problems. There could be some miscommunication because of the third house, you know, there could be some denial of visa to some country uh, or your resident permit may not be extended for some reason. And there could be, you know, some financial instability. Okay, so which means uh, you may think you will get some money from somewhere or somebody may promise and then not give you the money. Okay, so be careful with your finances and focus on uh, your self growth and controlling your bad habits. Okay. All the best, Libra. <clears throat> so now we go to Scorpio. So for Scorpio, what's going on? This transit is in your seventh house. Okay, seventh house is partnerships, marriage. Uh, anybody who is opposite of you, <laughs> it represents, you know, bonds and things which you sign sometimes. You know, it's like the bonding is there. <clears throat> bonding or bondage. <laughs> All right, for you, uh, Jupiter rules your second house which is again the house of wealth and family then he rules your fifth house which is creativity and the house of children of course and from there he's aspecting your 11th house which is the house of gains you know network circles and the first house which is you know yourself your personality and your third house which is you know communication and siblings so very 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 interesting because your lagna and 11th is receiving the aspect therefore your strong area is partnerships okay so Scorpio people, if you're having some problems, you know, keep your partners and your friends intact. Maybe they can help you sometimes. <laughs> of course, you should not make networks and uh, partners just because you want help. But in general, you know, if you need, you can ask help. Maybe somebody can help you if required. Then there could be social gains, you know, then uh, your uh, you could have very good personal char charisma. And because of that, you know, people may sometimes, you know, want to just give you, okay, and uh, other members of the opposite sex might also be uh, attracted to you and they might want attention from you or they might give you a lot of attention. Okay. Uh, so these are your uh, strengths. Uh, and in terms of weaknesses, you know, there could be some communication problems. Okay. This is something you need to be aware of. And uh, there could be some misunderstandings. Okay. So <clears throat> this is also good in a way that you have 
contacts with your network circle but it can also be negative that you know you say something which you regret later so scorpio be aware of what you are saying if you are playing your cards right then i think everything will be sorted for you all right all the best good time for scorpios then we have sagittarius for sagittarius this transit is on your sixth house which is the house of health and service and don't forget sagittarius Jupiter is your Lagnesh. He is your Lagna Lord. He is, he is you basically. <laughs> then he rules your first house, which is again the house of self, personality. And he rules your fourth house, which is the house of mother, home, comfort, peace, stability, Sukha. <laughs> and from there, you know, he's aspecting your 10th house, which is the house of career, name, fame, power, position, status, authority. And 12th house, which is, you know, spirituality, isolation, second house, wealth, family, you know, and all this. So for you, the strength areas are to be of service. So focus on your work, focus on hard work, focus on your daily habits, you know, 6th house. And <clears throat> Lagnesh going into the 6th house, focusing on your health, focusing on your every day to day. So plan your life properly, Sagittarius. If you don't plan, then you are planning to fail, okay? and improve your health and focus on your profession job and all this now weakness you could have a lot of work stress so this i won't say is necessarily a weakness always but yeah you may feel you need some time off you know and uh, you could have some health problems so don't be too much workaholic you will be a workaholic but don't be too much okay otherwise you may you might have some problems and <clears throat> For you, as you know, because 6th house is 12th to the 7th house. <clears throat> so you could have a challenge, you know, balancing your personal and professional lives, you know. So your married life could have some challenges. But nonetheless, uh, you will do good provided you balance it well. Okay. All the best, Sagittarius. Now we go to Capricorn. So what's going on Capricorn? For you, this transit is in your 5th house, which is the house of creativity, children. Then he rules your third house, which is, you know, communications uh, and siblings and boundaries, neighbors, your writing skills, creativity. Twelfth house, which is the house of spirituality and, you know, hospitalization, isolation and all this. Now, from there, he aspects your ninth house, which is the house of, you know, like luck, higher learning. And the eleventh house is the house of gains, network circle, wealth and all around success. And... <clears throat> He aspects your lagna, which is, you know, yourself, your personality and all this, okay? So for you, there could be a lot of focus on, you know, uh, creative projects, you know, you could want higher learning, social gains, you know, gaining name, fame, reputation in the society. You could also, uh, if you, you could also want to have children, okay? Or you could have children, okay? So this is something which is good. Uh, and in terms of weaknesses, you know, there, uh, you might be a bit too self-obsessed. Or you might be too much, uh, you might think too much about what others are thinking about you. Okay, so this is one challenge. And uh, in terms of, you know, uh, self-care, you know, you might, you might uh, sometimes think that uh, you are actually not able to take care of yourself because you have become so much externally oriented and conscious of other people's opinions that you kind of lose yourself. Okay. <clears throat> And because fifth is the twelfth from the sixth house, so you might feel you are you, you might experience a bit of laziness and uh, this feeling where you don't want to do much, you know, because everything is just going on as it is. So, therefore, uh, you need to balance your creative work and your responsibilities. So don't do it in your office time, and you know, just don't screw it up. All right, but Capricorn, great time, all the best. And for Aquarius, Aquarius Lagna. Your transit is in the fourth house. So fourth house, as you know, is the house of home, is the house of comfort. For you, Jupiter rules your wealth, family, you know, 11th house, which is uh, the house of gains, network. Okay, so second and 11th. And he's aspecting your eighth house, which is, you know, transformation, sudden events. And your 10th house, career, name, fame, power, position, status. And 12th house also, which is spirituality, isolation, hospitals, bed pleasures. So for you, uh, your strong areas could be to focus on your home, you know, your mother, your uh, peace and your own happiness. And also, you might get good support from your family. You might enter into real estate, you know, so you might buy a house or 
uh, go into luxury real estate or do interior design because Rohini is related to interior design as you know very well right so therefore uh, try to connect with the mother and uh, you will do very good okay and in terms of challenges you know there could be some potential career challenges or unexpected things which happen uh, with your mother or you know some property problems could be there uh, and also there could be some issues in your profession also at times but not very serious just be aware of it okay all the best Aquarius now for Pisces last but not the least Pisces ascendants this transit is in your third house and for Pisces Jupiter is you <laughs> because you your Lagnesh, Lagna Lord, Lord of the first house is Jupiter. So he rules your first house, which is yourself, you know, your personality and your thoughts, you know, and he rules your 10th house, which is the house of career, you know, name, fame, power, position, authority. So from there, uh, he's going to your third house. And from there, he will aspect your seventh house, which is, you know, partnerships, marriage and relationships, business deals. And ninth house, which is the house of, you know, luck, higher learning, spirituality, and all this. And also 11th house, which is, again, the house of network circles, okay? So, therefore, for you, uh, you might uh, you might have to make a lot of presentations as soon as this starts, you know. So, you might go and uh, make presentations in your company because, you know, the 10th house is involved. 10th lord is transiting the third. And... <clears throat> Uh, there could be a lot of networking because Rohini also shows, you know, networking and networking events. You know, there could be career advancement. So, great time for you. And the only issue is, you know, uh, the, the weaknesses that you might face is you might have issues with your existing partners or some partner may try to, you know, cheat you or force you to sign something which you don't want. So, therefore, uh, you need to learn to balance your personal life and your professional life. At the same time, Pisces you need to understand that this time you should not compromise with any compliance or any government rule regulation. So file your income tax returns on time, you know, pay the GST or the VAT if required on time and make sure you pay it to all compliances and I'm sure you will do very good. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Please take care. Jai Shri Ram.